find a lot of how-to information on the Lonsen 110 Superbike or any other bike that has this motor on it. So here is mine. Uh, a lot of problems with the flywheel magneto. Started to take the cover off for the stator. Um, you do take the screws out and it seems like it's still attached. Well, it's the magnets on the stator holding on to the flywheel that doesn't want it to come off. So just pull on it, wiggle it, it'll come off. It has pins, has a few alignment pins that are stuck. So give it a pull, it comes off. And then the fun kind of begins after that. You have Allen screws that hold the mechanism for the starter ratcheting mechanism together. Then you have the nut on the end of the flywheel. Loosen the nut up, leave it on there. Get a good three arm puller. This one, grease the end a little bit so it does not smash or it can actually rotate on the end of your shaft. It does not smash it. I left the nut on that way I could check it for play as I was pulling it off that I did not mess up or mushroom the end of the thread. So as I was pulling it, I was turning it back and forth to making sure it was okay. Tighten the puller up, tighten it up, tighten it up a little bit more. You can either tap the edge of this with a hammer. Uh, I tightened it up a little bit more. I was about ready to hammer it and it popped. It literally banged when it came back off. So you slide that off. Underneath that you have the ratcheting mechanism. which has an alignment pin right here. Goes in that hole. And then you have the starter gear, which has to slide off after that. C-clip on top on the starter. Both of them come off. Under that you have the plate that hides the timing chain. And in that plate are two Phillips screws. They are in tight. They are in very tight. You're going to have to get an impact wrench like this, hand impact, to get the screws out or you will strip the heads. You get that off of there. And under there is your timing chain. Is your hydraulic tensioner, which you have to take the pressure off if you're trying to get your cam chain back on. It doesn't go on easy once you take it off because the tensioner has just put tension on it that you didn't want. So I put a wrench in between the wall of that to push the plunger down to raise the lever so my wheel is not on the chain. So you get this lined up, slide your pulley on there, your flywheel. There's a mark right here. There's also a corresponding mark on the case. And you line those up. Make sure this is lined up to that mark up there. Make sure that all the slack is off and is all the slack is gone from the bottom of the chain because that will make it. Put your finger on the top of the chain, push it down, and that will tension up your chain and make sure your mark is in the right spot. Okay.